Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, as you guys can see on my screen right now, we do have the HD40, and the reason we're going to be talking about the HD40 inside of this video is because it actually just received a nerf this morning, like a couple hours ago, is because it just received a nerf a couple hours ago, and the nerf is a very, very big nerf to the weapon. So, I want to make this video so that people can kind of know the nerf immediately and start changing up their weapons in preparation for the NA Regional Finals. So, in terms of the nerf that actually happened to the HD40, Number one, I tested all of the mobility stats and I couldn't find anything different. So like the movement speed, ADS speed, stuff like that. It seems like all of the nerfs do apply to the damage, the range, and the hitboxes, which we'll break down right now. And as you can tell, the old HD40 would deal 28 damage from 0 to 13 meters, 23 damage from 14 to 29 meters, and then 30 meters and above would be 19 damage. But now the new HD40 is going to be dealing 25 damage, so a nerf there from 0 to 13 meters, and then 23 damage, which is the same damage value, but that range has been reduced reduced to 14 to 24 meters and then 25 meters and above they reduce the damage from 19 to 17 so as you can tell every single range tier has been adjusted in some way whether it be the damage or the range now not only this but the old hd40 had body multipliers of 1.1 to the head and 1x to the rest of the body meaning you would deal normal damage to the entire body except for you'd get boosted damage to the head but that now has been changed pretty dramatically now the weapon actually deals 0.9 damage to the legs as well as 0.9 damage to the hand and the wrists which means to the legs and the hands you will now be dealing 22.5 damage at the first range 20.7 damage at the second range and 15.3 damage at the final range tier now what this means is that if you're able to hit all body shots your time to kills will still actually be the same with this weapon at basically all of the range tiers the only real difference would be that the second range tier is reduced but obviously hitting body shots all the time is really tough to actually do so now most of the time your time to kill if you even hit like one leg shot is actually going to be increased for the first range tier and the third range tier so as you can tell at that close range tier typically you'd be getting a time to kill of 272 milliseconds but now it's going to be a time to kill of 362 milliseconds which is really really poor the 272 millisecond time to kill before was solid it, it was pretty good but now the 362 millisecond time to kill at close range is actually really bad and then mid-range you're probably going to have about the same performance of the hd40 and then at those longer ranges you will take one more shot to kill about 95 percent of the time so as you can tell, this was a pretty substantial nerf to the HD40. Again, this was all the changes I could find. There might be some smaller ones to add, but just with these changes alone, you can tell the HD40 was butchered pretty extremely. The weapon will pretty much only perform the way that it did at that mid range, which let me double check the range uh, is going to be 14 to 24 meters. That's pretty much the only time this weapon will feel like it typically did. So I highly imagine that this weapon will have almost no play time inside of the NA regional finals. Now, the weapon that I personally think could be a solid replacement for the HD40 that has a similar play style and just time to kill stats and everything as the old hd40 is the lk24 but i really wouldn't doubt if we mainly just see guns like the qq9 um the shotgun the uh, asm10 maybe the man of war and especially the drh i think the drh probably will be the most popular weapon but yeah so that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know down below in the description and liking the video also let me know as well as subscribing because currently we are on the road to 500k subscribers and with all of that being said i will see you guys later peace